when we're playing guitar, we have two hands. We all have limited amount of time and sometimes we don't have, you know, as much time to practice or work on things that we care about as we want to. So we're gonna work on 15 minutes practice routine. One, right hand. So here what we're gonna do is basically just practice all down strokes. So down, 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 down. Makes sense. So basically this, and I'm kind of leaning my pick on the string for a brief second before it's being released so I know for sure I'm in the right place. And then doing the same thing up. So again, all this. You can play it with a click or without a click, both are fine. I'll do it a couple of times and then down up. This is alternate, the, you know, the casual thing that people know. And then the same thing up, down. That is 60 seconds of right hand, being aware, raising the awareness, and locking it in. Two, try it. So I'm gonna start with C major, just this beautiful three note voicing. So this is second inversion, root position, first inversion, second, root, first, and second. When we're soloing, we're actually using parts of these drives. It's not just a random um, groups of notes that I need to memorize, but my fingers really learn the colors. So what, what I would do is just start with C major, literally one, three, five, C major in these positions. How much time do you practice a day? Please drop a comment and be honest. It could be five minutes, it could be zero, and it could be four hours. I'm just, I just really wanna know what we actually do. Three. This is just a very simple motion exercise. I'm gonna take this shape of chromatic scale. Four chromatic notes on G string, four chromatic notes on the, um, on the B string, <laughs> and then here on the E string and then sliding. So it will sound like this. Get this motion like this. Or a little faster. Definitely recommend it also to use our good friend uh, the metronome. You don't have to always do that, but the idea here is locking the right and left hand. Just two minutes, we're going forward. Four, solo, creating with the framework. Take some of the chords and make a loop so I can create and try to make music actually. And I would spend, you know, maybe I would say 30 to 50% of my work time on that. start the solo by thinking really about F major in this position, in this neck of the wood, so... Simple ideas. And maybe later on I'll start adding some of the chromatic stuff. point is this that we want to create we want to take something simple as you know this little loop and make music with it it doesn't need to be anything specific you know it could be just our exploration of the notes and really being aware it could be anything you're imagining but I want it to be something creative with the framework. So even if you have this limited amount of time to practice, I want, and I think it's really important to take the things from the lab and actually create. Even if it's five minutes, you have to do it. I mean, you don't have to, but I think it's a really good idea. Okay, I have really big news. So um, uh, I've been working really hard on making this uh, big workshop and it's, uh, it's, it's basically mapping the fingerboard. It's all the stuff that I wish I had been shown when I started playing guitar and I had to figure out years and years. But also, if you're not sure about some of the framework and you wanna be more free, this course is really for you. It's a 10% discount, so you can just apply here and I'll send it to you once it's ready. I'm very excited. I think it's really cool. Five, here we're gonna take a center, for example, F. I'm gonna play it with three notes per string and I'm gonna sing the notes and be aware of what's happening. First, I'm gonna take this first position of F and make sure I'm familiar with this. If you need a PDF, PDF is on Patreon. You 
can also just follow me here, no worries. So this is F, three notes per string. I'm gonna make sure I really see it and I really hear it. So for that, I'm gonna sing the note F as a starting point. Now what happens when I'm doing this, I'm actually feeling and hearing the relationships between the notes and the scale. Again, not even in time, just trying to start understanding and feeling the scale because it's all about this tension and release. Second thing I'm going to do is be aware of the notes that I'm playing. So I'm going to sing the notes now. idea of us tagging the colors again you're gonna meet this note C all across the guitar many a time so it's very good to make good friends with these notes so by singing them by hearing them and understanding their relationship to the center we're actually gonna learn way way more than just moving our hands up and down nevertheless I think it's important so I'm gonna put a click on 60 BPM I'm gonna play chord notes eight notes This is chord notes, and then I'm just skipping eight notes. Just this first position. And I'm thinking about the notes, so really tagging. This is still within my five minutes of you know exercise two of my daily routine. Triplets. And 60. The idea again is that we are actually learning something and not trying to do everything you have 15 minutes okay we're gonna nail something in a really clear way one position that we dive in maybe tomorrow i'll do another position maybe i'll stay here for a week until i feel it and then i'll move here if you're digging this video and like to support the best way is to drop a comment maybe click the like button and if you need there's also a pdf on the patreon again thank you so much for all the patreons for all the patreons that are supporting it means a lot and it actually makes this um exist so thank you before we start practicing i will say it's not only about how much we practice it's also about the quality and how concentrated and focused we are so what i would love for all of us to do when we decide we are practicing is really pay attention so really taking the instrument and listening as deeply as we can and really you know trying to understand what's happening in all possible ways. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was fun and interesting. I'm gonna jam a little bit.